Today, I woke up wanting to make the best damn burger in the world. Okay, maybe not the best hamburger in the hamburger, best burger, but I want to make something that generally hits the standard of what an amazing burger should be. Now, I'm a Korean American, specifically a immigrant Korean American. Now, in my household growing up, my mom was a bomb ass chef and she always made bomb ass Korean food. But I gotta tell you something, I always on occasion craved that delicious white devil delicacy. Heaven only knows. Now, when I say I wanna create a delicious burger, I'm not talking about adding truffles and all this other expensive bullshit because yeah, ain't nobody got it like that. Cause let's be honest, unless we're going to some fancy ass restaurant, if you're making this at home, I don't think it should cost you an arm and a leg. I'm looking to keep it real simple aside from a few twists of my own, but I'm talking about beef patties, buns, onions, pickles, tomatoes, lettuce, cheese, and all that other good stuff. Now, if I wanna make a delicious burger, I have to eat a delicious burger. So when it comes to an affordable delicious burger, I think nothing beats In-N-Out. I'm a Cali boy, so we're not gonna go into this whole argument about what's better, Shake Shack or In-N-Out. I just know that In-N-Out's my shit. Can I get a double-double animal style with uh, chopped chilies? Okay. And then, uh, Thanks, yeah, that'll be it. Uh, no fry, no drink? Uh, no fry, no drink. To go? Uh, to go, please, thank you. Double-double animal style with chilies, that'll be 4.58. I'm gonna have you sit tight. I'll let you know where to go in one second. Okay, thank you. Yes, there is this huge debate on what burger is better, right? The Shake Shack burger, the In-N-Out burger, and let me tell you something real quick. We are working within the parameters of this being affordable and delicious. Now, Shake Shack is delicious, and arguably sometimes I gotta say, when I crave a Shake Shack burger, I want it over In-N-Out burger, but we're talking about affordability. This shit right here is cheap as fuck, homie. So if you've never had an In-N-Out burger, let me just break this down for you about why this burger is so great. So we have two soft griddled buns. We have pickles, tomatoes, two delicious pieces of American cheese because I got it as a double-double. And then we got these caramelized onions in between that. And I gotta say, fucking heaven. Mm. Definitely when it comes to a Shake Shack burger, their buns are really special. They use um, potato rolls. This is just that classic white bread bun, but I love it. I mean, come on. Yeah, it's worth every bite. Shit out. Okay, welcome to the motherfucking kitchen, homies. <laughs> so we just had an In-N-Out burger and I told you the reason why I'm basing this stuff off of an In-N-Out burger. Man, my face is greasy. So let's talk about a few of the ingredients that I'm going to be using in the burger that I want to make the best damn burger on earth. You know what I'm saying, fucking moon crescent kick. First up, let's talk about the bun. Now I see it in your damn squinty little rat eyes that you're, <laughs> that you're gonna go for the big bun. You're gonna go for the bun that's like the brioche bun, the pretzel bun, but I'm advising you not to do that. Number one, we're trying to keep this cheap, but you just need a classic regular white bun. Like I said, they're cheap, but because they're a little pockety and airy, when you griddle these or when you put it on your cast iron or whatever pan that you're going to put it on, that heat's going to permeate through and you're not going to have to heat the other side of this. Now remember, be mindful of your bun size. <laughs> not slight or small, but you know, these regular tiny little buns. I don't want too much bread. I want to taste the meat and the cheese and all that other good stuff. You're going to need some goddamn lettuce. The type of lettuce that I like to use Butter lettuce. I like butter lettuce because I, it just, it's soft, it's not so bitter, but it still has that nice crunch and I love that leafy green look that it has. Next up, of course, we're gonna have tomatoes. Now for me, I love tomatoes in my burger specifically because it adds that nice acidity and freshness that I think a really heavy burger needs. If you don't like tomatoes in your burgers, you can omit this out. Also, nobody loves you. These are beef steak tomatoes. These are huge. All you need is one good slice for these particular buns. Before you put these in the burger, they'll make sure you salt it a little bit. That's my little trick. You can use Roma tomatoes. I think Shake Shack uses Roma tomatoes, but me, beef steak all the way. Next up, now I know I talked about tomatoes adding acidity and freshness. Well, guess what? That's what also the pickles are going to do. I fucking love pickles in my burgers. I think it's a very necessary component. And of course, to that, we are going to also add should the blau some banana pepper, sliced banana peppers, also known maybe as pepperoncinis. Now let's talk about the sauce, my friends, the special sauce. This right here, 
Now what makes this sauce special? This sauce is just basically, I say roughly about 60 to 70% Japanese QP mayo and the, the 40 to 30% ketchup ratio. And then with that, you add a uh, pickle relish to that. Last but not least, we have caramelized onions. I love caramelized onions. If you don't wanna put this in this burger, that's okay. That's a preference thing. But I'm telling you my friends, delicious as hell. Last but not least, we got the beef. What type of beef? Regular old ground beef. We're talking about 80, 20, most likely Chuck. If you go to any grocery store, you can find 80, 20 ground beef. 80, 20 just means that it's 80% meat, 20% fat. If you wanna get your organic, uh, whatever beef shit, or you wanna make your own, I don't know, special blend like Shake Shack does, go ahead, motherfucker, but I ain't doing that shit. Shit, hold on, like, I almost forgot, ha, <laughs> I got. American cheese, baby. And let me tell you something real quick. You are not allowed to substitute anything with American cheese. You wanna put cheddar, gouda, and all that other fancy stuff. This is American burger. You put a French cheese on this, you might as well go to George Washington's grave and piss in his mouth. Talking about that American cheese, homie, you know what I'm saying, cut, you know what I'm saying? Let's get the cooking, bitches. Well, hello, you sexy mofos. Let's talk about how to assemble this burger by doing this binging with Bobbish bullshit. Now, before you start cooking your burger, make sure that you prep your ingredients. Caramelize your onions, slice your tomatoes, clean your lettuce, get everything nice and ready before we add that meat to that pan. Now, when I make my patties for this burger, I actually don't form my patties before I put it into the cast iron pan. Now, I know for a lot of people, they're like, what are you talking about? You might, you know, smash all the juices out. You need to press that burger like it's a deadbeat daddy that owes you money because we are looking for maximum brownness and we're looking for that nice crust on each side before we flip it and we of course add our delicious American cheese. After you add your cheese, make sure that you take one patty, you stack it on the other, lift it up, take it out and let that meat rest because we're cooking it till it's nice and pink. Turn off the heat and if you have a cast iron pan, the residual heat should be enough to toast your buns. Now before I put the buns into this pan, I made sure to lather it with just a little bit of QP mayo. It's going to be way better than butter, my friends. You won't miss the butter when you're toasting these buns. When it's nice and brown, take it out the pan and let's get ready to assemble. Ooh wee, now first up, homeboy, you already know what we gonna do. We gonna add that delicious sauce to that delicious toasted Bun. Now, after all that, we of course are going to add that delicious sliced tomato because it's going to add the freshness that we need. Now, after the tomatoes, we of course are going to go for those deliciously sliced dill pickles. And like I said before, we are going to need the dill pickles to slice through all that fat that we're going to have from those ground beef patties and cheese. Now, at this point, I decide to leave out the banana peppers because... I just fucking forgot. That's some real shit. People all make mistakes, move on. Next up, we have that delicious tender butter lettuce. If it's too big, cut it in half and just stack the remainder parts with the nice pretty part. Then we got the main stage mofo. We got those two delicious beef burger patties that are nice and rested and pink in the middle with those delicious pieces of melted American cheese. Now we cannot forget those delicious low and slow caramelized onions that you put so much love and time into because my friends, this is a necessary part to what makes this burger so damn delicious. Now, if you like sauce like I do, take the other bun, spread that extra sauce onto it and then stack it on top. And there you have it, my friends, the best damn burger you're ever going to eat. And here we have it, my friends. Yes, this right here is Oh, look at that. Look at that juice just drip from it, my friend. That drip, drip. Man. I'm not saying I made a burger that's better than an In-N-Out burger, but I'm saying that look at the inside. I get to make it to my doneness and just toasting it with that QP mayo just makes a world of difference. Having the burger cooked to medium, salting the tomato all the way through, those grilled onions, and once again, the QP mayo special sauce that I made. Mm. Oh my God. Mm. Something about a burger, man. Like, I don't know what it is, but even when I was a kid, like I said, I grew up eating amazing Korean food, but nothing ever just replaces a really good burger. Mm. <laughs> I see a lot of people who add, you know, crazy fillings to their burgers. Like they add, you know, breadcrumbs and eggs to their burger patties. Don't do that. That's a meatloaf. We want to taste the beef. Mmm. Go out there, my friends. Mm. 
make this burger. I shit you not, this burger is better than In-N-Out and Shake Shack combined. It's like Shake Shack and In-N-Out had a baby. We're talking about the quality of the products, whatever, the potato bun, fuck all that shit. Maybe I like it because I made it, but I'm telling you guys right now, amazing. Oh, all right y'all, well, that concludes this video. If you'd like to see more content or if you want to see me make some other type of food, um, leave it in the comments below. On top of that, I'll just be making a lot more videos. Now you guys already know, as before with the other video, um, I stopped doing JK News and um, I just got more time now to, to focus on this channel aside from doing the Thrillish episode. So yeah, man, check it out. Uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that other good stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Shippa boom, 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 boom. Check this shit out right here. No, no, I'm not gonna do it. Man. Okay, well, maybe not the best hamburger in the world, but I wanted to make a burger that what the fuck am I saying right now?